Hi, this is Mike with OnPoint Software. Welcome to our Getting Started tutorial to develop a crystal report on your Sage Timberline Office data. Okay, jumping in. First thing we're going to do is uh, clear my screen and we're going to jump into ODBC and make sure our DSN is set up properly. Uh, we're, we're going to skip tips and tricks and a lot of detail that, that we'll talk later about how to uh, get or where to go to get more information. So this is just going to be a quick and dirty uh, getting started. So to check your DSN, your ODBC DSN, click on the start icon and go out to control panel. Now I'm on Windows 7 here. Uh, whether you're on XP or 7 though, this will be the same, same uh, process. Uh, go to administrative tools and then to data sources, ODBC. Now we're interested in the user DSN called Timberline Data Source. So highlight Timberline Data Source and click on Configure. The two things you're going to want to do are hit Select Folder and make sure that your data folder is your company data. Now, of course, in this case, it's the uh, construction sample data. Hit OK. And then hit Options and make sure that table and field naming is standard descriptions and that your maximum table segment size is selected. Hit OK, hit OK, and bail out a control panel. All right, we're ready to get started in Crystal. So launch Crystal. In this case, I'm on Crystal 11. And we come up to the start page. I, I find this confusing. Uh, it kind of it's, it's a lot of mud, mud muddies up the picture. I'll generally shut that down and start with a blank screen. To uh, start a new report, go to File, New, Blank Report. Click on Create New Connection or Expand Create New Connection and then go to uh, ODBC and select Timberline Data Source. Now, if we had security invoked on this machine, I'd have to hit Next and uh, give my Timberline credentials. Uh, we don't, so in this case, I can just hit Finish. And we are asked for uh, the Timberline table or tables that we're gonna wanna select. So I will expand this window, and we can see on the left that uh, we've got our Timberline Data Source uh, table selection. Now, let's say in this case, we want to see a list of our job cost. Uh, now, nah, let's see, it's something we all use. Let's say we want to look at a list of our AP invoices. Uh, in this case, I'm going to select the APM master invoice table and select that. And also the master APM vendor table and select that. Now, I'm going to select two tables, whether I want to or not. When I hit OK, Timber Timberline. Uh, Crystal is going to say we want you to to, uh, to confirm the linking. So we recommend that you first clear links and then do two things. Decide which table is read in its entirety. Now in this case it's going to be the uh, invoice table. So that'll be the table that's on its left. And you can see I can I can expand that table and actually, actually right click on fields and look at the data in those fields. And then from that table on the left, or the table that's going to be read in its entirety, we'll need to link to any other table. In this case, I'm going to link from the vendor on the invoice table to the uh, vendor on the vendor table. Another very important consideration, and you see I got here by double clicking on that link, is to decide on my join type. Uh, do I want to see everything on the left table, whether or not it's on the right table, in which case that would be a left outer join? Or do I only want to see what's on the left table if the same, or if it finds, rather finds information on the right table, and that would be an inner join. Again, we talk about that in much more detail in, in the uh, Crystal and other classes that we do. In this case, I'll do an inner join. I'm going to say, inner join, give me everything on the left if you find a vendor on the right. And I'll hit OK. OK, we're at a Crystal design pad. Uh, to make a long story short, we've got a few windows here or sections to it. We've, of course, got the design pad. If I hit my field explorer, I've got my field explorer with database fields on the right. And then, of course, I've got my menus and tool, toolbars on the upper, upper part of the screen. So in this case, I'm simply going to add from my invoice, I'm going to add my, my vendor ID. And then from my vendor table, I'm going to add the vendor name, 
and then I'll hop back over to the invoice table and I'll grab the invoice. Uh, maybe I'll grab the uh, invoice status and I'll grab the amount of that invoice. And I do that by, by left clicking on a field and field explore and dragging over to the right. Okay, after we've selected a few, or in this case, all of our fields, we, we suggest that you run the report. In that case, I'll hit the refresh button and observe your data. Uh, highlight your data and then change the size of the field to the data in your, in your database. So like invoice, uh, we can say I can probably shorten that length. Uh, name, now that I've shortened the vendor, I can, I can grab my, my ruler guide here and drag name over to justify it against the vendor and then give me room to expand the name. Oh, incidentally, if you mess that up, thank goodness for the undo button. Okay, I'll expand that. You can see status is far too, far larger than I need it to be. And I'm going to expand uh, the amount just a bit. All right, that was a very, very quick tutorial on getting started with a, a crystal report. There's lots more to learn. Uh, we threw this out there just in case you've, uh, you've had the classes and you just need to kind of get a head start or a push start on, uh, on designing your own report. All right, we hope you got a lot from this video. Uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions, please give us a holler. Uh, let us know if what was good, and more importantly, what uh, we could do to improve it for you. You can reach us at onpointsoftware.com, and also give us a holler at, uh, at our office here at 417-581-7700. Uh, uh, this was a quick tutorial on getting started. There is lots more to know. Uh, there are beginning classes, intermediate classes, and, and advanced classes, and we've also got classes specific to ODBC. You can you can get those classes from a bunch of different sources, including uh, from from Timberline Direct on their online training. You can get them from your business partner and other consultants, and of course uh, we offer them as well. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.